coming up. Jake's fed up with the girls. Because we've got loads of girls, I feel a bit left out because there is no boys and I'm the only boy at the moment. And Limbo's Alex causes upheaval in the survival challenge. I'm JK. Hiya, I'm Joel. And this is Escape from Scorpion Island. And right now, things are getting very tense as our teams battle it out in a bid to win new members and escape the island's clutches. Scorpion Island is tough and unpredictable. Over the next few weeks, Team Sting and Team Claw will be tested to their very limits to find out who's got what it takes to escape the island's clutches. I can't watch. But Sting and Claw are not alone. The island is holding people prisoner deep in the jungle. Each day, the island selects some of its captives to compete against each other in the Limbo Challenge. The winners will be offered up as human prizes. Having watched the Limbo captives compete, the teams must each select one captive. Sting and Claw then do battle, and the victorious team take home their prize. Ultimately, the team with the most members has the best chance of escape. <laughs> At the moment, both teams have four players, but only one team will take the lead today, so it really is all to play for. And it's pretty certain that the island has more tricks up its sleeve. So let's see what all-action Seat of Your Pants challenge it has in store for our brave teams today. Take a look at this. Thunder River flows into one of the island's most remarkable features, Skeleton Falls. Today's challenge will involve the adventurers abseiling through the white water. It's going to be extreme. It's a good thing our adventurers are not quitters. And if they want to escape, they've got to stay strong. But taking on the island is tough. So let's have a look what our adventurers have been up to so far. Last time, our adventurers took to the dizzying heights in Decks of Doom. Claw won their challenge and claimed Ayla as their human prize. Congratulations, Claw. You have conquered Ultimate Jeopardy, which means you get your limbo captive. It is, of course, Ayla. <laughs> Ayla is now an official member of Team Claw, but there's something special about her. She holds a power play. The power play that Ayla has got is called Swap. Its ability is to swap a strong person for a weak person on the opposing team. And it, we need to use it when there's something decent at stake, but I don't think we're going to use it this round because it's like the first time. But Ayla's got concerns. I think the worst thing that might happen um, as a challenge would probably be, to me, something to do with heights, because I am scared of heights. We'll have to keep an eye on Ayla in Ultimate Jeopardy. Sting and Claw both have four members each, and both are desperate to win a Limbo captive. Last time, Limbo's Alex tried to escape by taking part in Decks of Doom, but his fear of heights and lack of balance really affected him. The challenge was all right, but it was a bit scary for me because I, I get slightly scared of heights. To alter my balancing skills, to make myself more balanced, I've been practising with, like, logs and stuff. I've been balancing on them and the group have been really giving me encouragement and stuff, so it's been really helpful. At home, Alex would react differently. If something goes wrong at home, I normally go into my room and just be a meal. 
But on Scorpion Island, he's facing his weakness head on with the help of the Limbo captives. Concentrate on something still, that might help. Try, when you're walking, watch, try and put your hand on still. one ear if you're wobbling on the one side. Change the diamond. Tilt your head to the side that you're wobble not wobbling to. Okay, that, that's way better. Alex, put your hands out like, like a bird, like a bird. Put your hands out. Um, Going, 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 arms going. out, arms right out. Concentrate, Sitting. Carry on doing it. Keep going. Keep your balance. Really there? Oh, going really well. Oh, oh that's yeah. really good. Oh, five. Okay. And I think I reckon my balance has improved slightly. In the last challenge, Jake would have preferred a boy to have joined Team Claw. If you did have first choice. Would it have still been Ayla? I'm going to say the truth, and I think it would have actually been Jack. Because we've got loads of girls, I feel a bit left out because there is no boys, and I'm the only boy at the moment. But I'm kind of used to it because I've got three sisters, so, yeah, I'll cope. He decides to mention it to the girls. Well, I think we do need a couple of more boys. Yeah, to me too. Yeah. Our team. Yeah, we should, I think we should get another boy. Yeah, for no, Jake. Really. Another boy. Not just for Jake though, but I reckon we need a yeah. boy anyway. Some strength. Yeah. So a little bit more like strength and agility yeah. as well. The girls on Claw decide they need another boy, but they've got to win a challenge for that to happen. So what is that challenge? Sting and Claw gathered round the island fire and discovered that today's challenge is called... Fearful. So Sting and Claw are desperate to gain new teammates by freeing them from Limbo. But it's up to the island and the Stone of Selection to pick which Limbo captives will be performing in front of Sting and Claw. So, who will be up for grabs this time? Hidden away in the dark jungle is a mysterious clearing. It's the home of a mound of rocks with amazing powers. This is the Stone of Selection. Each day, the Stone of Selection will choose a handful of Limbo captives and force them to compete for the chance to join Sting or Claw. But living inside the stone is something dark and twisted. This is what happened at the Stone of Selection last night. Limbo captives, welcome. Hello. Again, I'm going to ask you to put your hands into the Selection Stone in a moment, OK? And for this, you're going to have to be extremely courageous. Obviously, everybody wants to get out of Limbo. Yeah. If you are stung by the scorpion, it means the island has selected you to play the next challenge. If not, you'll be stuck in Limbo for another day. The island has until the sands of time run out to make its selection. Limbo captives, are you ready? Yes! Please put your hand into the stone of selection. Libby, so you've been picked for the very first time. Yeah, and I feel great that um, I have get to have a go at the, the next challenge and I've been picked, so I might get to go out of limbo. You as a person, what do you think your strengths and weaknesses are? Um, I'm quite competitive and I'm quite sporty as well, but I can get a bit too competitive sometimes. Who will be next? Kai marked blue. Jack marked white. Lachlan marked blue. Lachlan, you've also been selected to play the next challenge. I'm absolutely overjoyed to be getting a chance because Livy and I both missed out on the first two, so we're a bit annoyed about that, but it's absolutely fantastic to finally be in to be given the opportunity to escape Limbo. Lizzie marked blue.
Oliver marked white. Alex, you haven't been selected. How do you feel about that? Well, not bad because it gives us a chance for someone else, uh, for Lachlan and L Livy to get through. So it's another day in limbo for you? Yep. Amy, you have been picked by the island before, but today wasn't your lucky day. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm feeling fine. Um, I'm glad that the others, um, Lachlan and Livy, have had the opportunity to um, take part in a challenge. Um, and I just wish them um, good luck to hopefully leave limbo. So, Limbo, those of you that have been chosen to take part in the next challenge, you need to gather your thoughts. Those of you that weren't chosen, unlucky, better luck next time. Off you go, back to Limbo. Bye. See ya. So, in Fearfall, Lizzie, Kai and Lachlan will be pitted against Livy, Oliver and Jack. One of these Limbo captives will be joining Sting or Claw at the end of today. But are there any power players in the cage? We'll find out later. Meanwhile, on the other side of the island, Sting and Claw are getting ready to watch the Limbo captives in action. Olivia, what do you need in Team Sting? Uh, I think we need lots of character in our, uh, our Limbo person because We've got a really good group together now and we can only make it better by adding someone new and someone with a different character into our group. All right, let's go over here. Sammy, what are you missing at the moment from your team? I think we need someone that can focus a lot. And, like, I think we need another person that, like, is a really good team player and, like, just another all-rounder, really. Guys, do you hope you'll get a power player this time? Yeah. yeah. Out of the six Limbo captives playing today, there are two power players up for grabs. Livy with head start. She was marked red, the sign of the power player on her first day and was told to keep it a secret. Head start. This power play allows Livy and her team to start a challenge before her rivals. This power play will be a great future advantage. The second power player is Lachlan. With his power play, false start. He was also told to keep it a secret. False start. This gives him the ability to restart a challenge. If Lachlan calls false start in the first 60 seconds of a challenge, all action stops. And the challenge starts again. Harder to predict when to use, this power play will cause a tactical nightmare for the opposing team. Livy and Lachlan can only use their power plays once they've joined Sting or Claw. The teams will be desperate to win a power player, but their identity is a secret. I, I don't really know what the challenge is involved, but I probably wouldn't want it to be anything to do with sort of bungeeing off a waterfall or something. Oh, well, it's bad luck for you, Oliver. Check this out. Fearfall takes place at one of the island's most remarkable features. The terrifying Skeleton Falls. Taller than three double-decker buses, it's an onslaught of white water. For each team, the island has placed a rope with ten nets hanging in the full force of the water. Nine of these nets contain coloured coconuts, the tenth, a skull. Each team will field three members. One to operate the ropes, one to collect the coconuts and the skull, and one to be the all-important spotter, the communications hub ensuring the team works smoothly together. Whichever team has emptied all of its nets and got to the top of the falls first, wins. Right then, guys, it's time to talk tactics. Make sure that you've got a hand on something, if you can, so you don't, like, float uh, away. Yeah. And maybe, because they're, they're, they're not, like, they're quite close together, the coconut, together, so, so yeah. if you drop down a couple, take one out, then another one out, yeah, and then yeah. you've got two, yeah, yeah. and chuck them. Yeah, that's right. And it needs really good um, communication between all of us. Yeah. So just I'll have to shout a lot to you, remember that. Yeah, up, down, down, up, stop. Yeah. Oliver's got a lot at stake. 
Right from the beginning, he saw himself as a natural leader. He can understand Morse code. I, I can understand I'm like the guy who decides what we're going to do. I think we need one leader to keep it organised. And was sure of his chance of escape from limbo. Oh! But then it all went disastrously wrong. Now the island's giving him another chance to prove himself. Will he escape from limbo this time? I think, yeah, up, down, stop, and I'll That's keep right. holding That's your right. hand up right. while I'm holding it up so Lizzie knows to keep yeah. pulling me up. But when he puts pulling. his hand on, put your hand down. Yeah, and try not to move it, too much. Keep your hand down yeah. until I'm down to the right level. Right, guys, enough time for talking. It's time for action. It's time for fearful. Two, one, go! And they're off. Come on. Oh, this is a bad start for the Whites. Libby the spotter is pointing up. She's made Oliver Hall jack upwards, so he's just hanging over the waterfall when he should be going down. They've just got to realise that strength may be important in this challenge, but communication is the real key. And for the Blues, Kai is communicating much more clearly with Lizzie. She's hauling Lachlan down, and he's already at the first net. That's one to the Blues. Go on, Go, the Blues are making light work of this. That's their second. Stop! 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 How differently it's going for the Whites and the Blues so far. Jack is sliding down the face of the falls while Lachlan's already on his third coconut. And these are really challenging conditions. Think how hard it is walking on slippery rocks. Now imagine it vertically in the full force of water. Finally, Jack gets the White's first coconut, but Lachlan is racing ahead. That is the Blues' fourth. This is hectic stuff. That's two to the White's. And now that's five to the Blues. Oh, Jack's lost his footing, but he's got their third. Lachlan and Jack are both making great progress. That's six to the Blues and four to the Whites. How terrifying must that be up there? And they're really keeping the pace up. That's Jack's fifth and Lachlan's seventh. Lachlan's pulling ahead by the look of it. Jack's got the Whites up to six. Lachlan's flying. While Lachlan's got the Blues up to eight. And that's another for the Whites. They are within one point of the Blues now. This is amazing stuff. That's the Blues ninth. And the Whites eight. The adventurers are being battered by the water. It's coming down at more than 20 miles an hour. Lachlan's on the last one. Has he got to do it? Yeah! He's got the goal. Yeah! Lachlan's yeah! done it. It's a great moment for the Blues, but they are still only halfway there. He's still got to get back to the top of the falls before victory is theirs. Yeah! Jack falling. This is really bad news for the Whites. They just about caught the Blues, but now Jack seems to be struggling with the skull. No, he's got it. That's it. Now he can go back up the falls, but will he ever be able to catch Lachlan? The climb up Skeleton Falls is notoriously difficult, but Lachlan is making it look easy. This is great stuff. Oh, he slipped. Oh, no. No, he's back up again. Well, this was a great break for the Blues. If Lachlan hadn't managed to regain his footing, it could have been just the chance Jack needed to catch up for the Whites. He's going up there like he's in the SAS. Well, he's certainly making great progress up these falls. And there he is. Yes, he's crossed the finish line. This one goes to the Blues. Oliver looks disappointed, but even though they've lost, They've still got to get Jack back up the falls. That must have been a hard knock. Jack has really given everything in this challenge. He looks exhausted. This must be so hard for Oliver. He's having to physically haul Jack back to the top while the Blues are already celebrating. Hey, how good was that? Lizzie, Lachlan, 
and Kai won the Limbo Challenge and are now up for grabs as human prizes with a chance to join Sting or Claw. We'll find out more soon. But for Oliver, Livy and Jack, it's back to Limbo. In Limbo, there are no rewards. The inmates do battle just to hang on to the basics, as they found out earlier. Every day, they'll be tested in a special survival challenge. Failure means punishment by the island. But who are the team players? And who are the weak links? The island will find out. The challenge today was a bit of a Chinese whisper thing. First, Libby found the note, and what it said was pretty much, we have to get into a circle, and it's exactly like Chinese whispers, except it has a twist. The island has a message that must be passed around your group in secret. Before you can pass the message to the next person, you must carry out individual tasks contained in the sack provided. Take a task each and spread out in a circle 10 metres apart. If the final message is different from the original, then you have failed your challenge. The forfeit. You'll be together, tethered together in pairs for the rest of the day. You're joking. No, no, no. Oh, that's ridiculous. Let's see what we've got to do. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's get these messages. They all get into position, and Livy reads the original message. If they make a mistake, they'll be tethered together for the night. So it reads, 56 scorpions stinging and scurrying stealthily in the stove. What happened was Libby started off with the message. She passed it on to Lizzie, and Lizzie was given a little scroll with a task for her to do. So she had to remember what it was and do her task, which was to spell her name backwards. And this went all around the circle. Y-Z-Z-I-L. Lizzie. <laughs> remember, these tasks are designed to distract the captives. Will Lizzie be able to remember the message and pass it on accurately? It was basically a Chinese whisper game, but it, before we passed on the message, we had to do a, some sort of individual challenge. My challenge is to suck on a lemon. Oh. My one was I had to eat a lemon, which was pretty disgusting, but had to be done. Scorpions stinging and scurrying in a stone. Guys, I've got to name five capital cities. Cardiff, London, Berlin, Paris, and Madrid. Lachlan, Kai. Woo! Woo! Run around the whole group twice. Got it in. Got it in. Well, I think somewhere along the lines, it went completely wrong with the Chinese whispers because we forgot, because we were doing the challenges in between, we forgot what the person had said to us. Okay. A bit of disappointment because as it came to me, I just knew I had to remember what I had. And then because I didn't have too hard a challenge, it was only peeling a banana and eating it, I was able to remember my uh, what uh, Amy had told me and I passed it on to Alex. <laughs> I can't do anything now, Alex. <laughs> do 10 star jumps. It's, completely, it's probably going to be completely wrong. So ready? He said nothing what, like what I said. 56 scorpions scoring around the city. Oh, no! oh, How could you right, think that? I, I was told the message wrong, but I didn't understand it that well because I I'm quite, slightly forgetful as well. So I forgot the challenge. Uh, I forgot the message. So I just made it up there. I heard the uh, 56 spiders and stinging. 
So, I got that bit right. The answer is 56 scorpions stinging and scurrying in the stove. No, we are now tethered together for the rest of the day, Jay. <laughs> In the end, I mean, we failed, which kind of sucks because we're, except for this, we're tethered together all of today. But as ever in limbo, they turn a negative into a positive. Being tethered together makes things more interesting, yeah, in general, in camp. Mm. Livens things up. <laughs> We've got tethered together uh, because we lost our camp challenge. Oh, Lord. It was a bit annoying because my shoelaces kept coming undone, so we had, it was a bit hard to manoeuvre yourself to tie them. Stupid shoelaces. <laughs> it went round fine to me, and then I must have got it a bit wrong. And then, and then really wrong. she got it really wrong. And then Ollie got it even worse. And then um, Alex just got it just worse than that. After Oliver and Lachlan struggled for leadership in the Code Cracker Challenge... Yes. And then one guy yeah. one so holding that and there were quite a few people here who like to be leaders, so there was sort of a little bit of a, um, a sort of clash. At first, I didn't take him to be someone that likes to lead and someone who's interested in doing that kind of thing, but, yeah, apparently it's turning out that he is. They're getting on really well. He's cool, so, so it's all good. We get to know each other now. Yeah, well, well, it's a good bonding session. Yeah. Go down, go down. I'll Look on the bright side of life, is that Always look on the bright side of life. Do do. Always look on the bright side of life. Oh, the breaking. <laughs> Getting tense on Scorpion Island. There are still power players to be won, but the teams don't know who they are. Plus, they still need to face the next round of Fear Fall. And let me tell you, it's going to get a lot tougher and a lot scarier. You do not want to miss it. Yeah! Next time, two power players battle it out in Fear Fall.